where and how to prepare for a continuing disability review. Hi all, this is Brian Terry and, and that's exactly what this video and this website is about. Uh, I want to uh, teach you uh, what to do if your disability benefits are reviewed and how to prevent them from being stopped. Um, there's a trend out there that shows a significant increase in disability reviews. Um, and I just want to peel it back a little bit. In your award statement, um, you will have uh, usually a term on there that says your disability benefits will be reviewed every two years, maybe never. Um, more common that they're being reviewed, um, you know, on a two to three year basis now. So here's what's happened. There's a program uh, called the Program Integrity Initiative that uh, was put in place by President Obama and it was go to go after Medicare and Social Security uh, improper payments um, and in the past this program there was a distant relative to it and it wasn't used that much and reviews were not that common but what's happened is they found that for every dollar that they spend um, they are getting a $10 savings on improper payments and that's a combination of Medicare and Social Security um, and the trend on the website here is 306, 317 medical reviews in 2009, 1.4 million in 2011. So um, I just want you to be aware, I don't want to frighten you, I just want you to be aware of what these are and how to, uh, and how to treat them. So how you will know is you'll get a short mailer or a long mailer. Uh, you can click on these links here. Uh, and if you do click on the link, it's going to bring you um, to the page and you want to just hit the back arrow to get back to uh, the main page where the rest of the information is. So there's a short mail or a long mail. It's going to ask you for some questions um, about your work, your treatment, your daily activities. And you need to answer that promptly um, as soon as you can. Don't let it sit around um, because that's going to create a problem. And what you need to prove is the same thing you did when, <clears throat> excuse me, when you were getting on disability. You need to prove that you can't do any job five days a week, 40 hours a week, um, you know, even a ticket taker at a movie theater or a greeter at Walmart. So what's happened with some of these conditions um, where there's a, a gray area is there's been some medical advancements. So uh, let's take a liver treatment. Uh, let's say somebody that's being treated for liver disease and they had a surgery that resulted in increased emotion, reduced their pain, required less medicine, and they could go back to work. Um, another, and, but, their, but their benefits haven't been reviewed. Another one is HIV AIDS. 10 to 15 years ago, um, there was no real significant medical improvements available and now um, they've done fantastic things and people can uh, really go on and, and be functionally fine. So if somebody was put on benefits um, 10 to 15 years ago and they haven't been reviewed, then uh, there could be, um, you know, they could be able to go off of benefits and back to work. So. Here's a tip <clears throat> how to protect your check. If this has not happened to you, I'm going to address that. If, you're, if you do get denied, I'm going to go on to that next. But if you have not um, had this happen to you, it is good, sound um, uh, uh, benefit management, if you will, to, to follow these steps. The first one is with every uh, award statement there is prescribed treatment that you need to follow which is on this link right here you can go check it out and if you have treatment that you need to be under then follow that treatment if you're not following treatment it's going to leave reason uh, for concern for social security because they would say well if you've been treated over the last x amount of years perhaps your condition would be better okay um, so make sure you, you stay on your treatment plan keep a journal um, and in your journal, uh, number three is track your limitations, track your good days, track your bad days. When limitations, this goes back to what you needed to prove when you get on benefits. Track, uh, can you lift a gallon of milk? Can you do a sink full of dishes for two? Uh, can you uh, sweep the floor? Can you climb 10 steps without taking a break? So the physical limitations and track them as they improve. Some might improve and some might not. Um, and then you'll have a journal. So if you are building a consistent record of evidence 
that tracks your health, which is good to do anyway, just for your own uh, peace of mind, then that would be great evidence to, to put into this. Um, and at the top of this page, there's a bookmark feature right over here on the right. And in case you ever need this page, just come up and bookmark it. And so you have it there um, and you can come back and reference this. All right. So let's roll forward. Let's say that up here you filled out one of the short or long mailers and it was uh, and you went from medical review and it was denied. Uh, there's two forms that you need to do to appeal that that are right here in step one and step two. The key is this. If you want to keep your benefits going and keep the payments coming in while you're appealing this, then you need to reply within 10 days. It's actually 15, including the five-day mailing um, time frame that you have. So as soon as you receive word that your review up here um, that you submitted uh, was, you know, that you, your benefits are going to be denied and they're going to be stopped, then you need to appeal that. Okay, so fill out those forms and get them in in 10 days. And then you can keep your benefits going. Now understand, if you do <clears throat> appeal this and they're denied, there may be a situation where you have to pay those benefits back. Okay, so here's a few ways that you can get help uh, with your appeal. You can contact the Social Security office and ask for help. They have people there that will help you fill out the forms. Um, you can contact your local center for ind independent living. These are uh, organizations that are run by disabled, for disabled. They help with a variety of areas. Ask for free le legal aid or explain your situation and just say, listen, I've uh, my disability benefits have been denied. Is there somebody there that can help me appeal it? Uh, the last option is hiring a disability representative. Um, this is tough uh, for people that go through this because um, there's no back benefits that a disability representative attorney or non-attorney would be paid. So you have to be creative. If you want to have a uh, hire a disability representative, the um, most common appealing approach would be say, listen, I will give you uh, X percentage of my check. It's usually in the 20 to 30 percent range of my check that you get every month that goes into an escrow account um, and then you work on my uh, on my disability appeal and, and get my benefits uh, back in line for me. So if you contact a disability representative then they'll um, I, I ex they should be familiar with these and they either will or they will not take them and if they don't just keep looking um, or you could go to the Center for Independent Living and see if there's somebody locally in your community that they might know that would do it. So uh, there's additional resources down here, uh, links to um, cover letters following treatment that we discussed. If you need a refresher on how to uh, prove that you're disabled, uh, go into the disability mini course. And when you're in the disability mini course, come right down here. There's a two part get orientated with Social Security interview. Um, that really goes over the A, B, C's and D's of it and talks to you about what you need to express in your limitations to make this work. So, good luck. Hope this never happens to you. If it does happen, you have your benefits reviewed, then now you have the resources uh, at your disposal to, um, to deal with this. So, wishing you a great day. This has been Brian Terry.